Stratford, Ontario, will graduate with a degree in biomedical sciences and is the daughter of Pat and Vicki Schlattman. Ladies and gentlemen, number 10, Kim Schlattman. Hiller's shot goes off the side of the net. Kunichika comes up with it. Kunichika backhander in front, and a goal. The Tigers go up one to nothing as Kim Schlotman, just like last night, starts out the scoring here tonight for RIT. That's exciting for Kim being a senior scoring on her senior night. We'll see in the replay. Kunichika tries to get it across and she can't quite get it. Kim just gets that puck that's laying out front and just puts it low on the ice and in the net. Well, and we talked about this last night, but I think it is a story that bears repeating as Aaron Zach will bring it in. Zach backhands it right on front. Yokoyama puts it in. Ariane Yokoyama gets belted right at the end. Aaron Zach creating that opportunity. It's Majeri with the goal. Marissa Majeri, number 19, and the Tigers go up 2 to nothing. I don't think I've ever seen a RIT women's game where they haven't committed a penalty. They're just always normally so aggressive that that's part of the, you know, the, the side effect, if you will. Sometimes you're gonna take a minor here or there, as now the Tigers coming right back into the zone in front and a goal. Good pass. Aaron Zach takes exception afterward, and here we go. Patton comes over, and the linesman quickly come in to break it up. 3-0 RIT. You may have just jinxed the Tigers. Might have gotten a penalty there. <laughs> well, <laughs> and a goal. And a goal. We're all on the same play. Matt Garbowski with less than a minute remaining has put the Tigers up by a 4-3 margin. You really build the suspense there. I'm trying like. to, but I, I'm... Hey, we're all fans here, and boy, if Wayne Wilson's team can get out of Erie with four points, can the Tigers hold on? And there's a goal! The quick shot and the goal. Courtney Kunichika makes it 4-0 RIT. 